Mm-hmm. All right, here with Nellie Corda after her second round at the Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions. Lots of birdies out there for you today. What was the best part of your round? Um, I was actually a little frustrated with my round today. I don't think I was hitting it or putting it as good, especially on the front. I had a lot of opportunities. I think I was hitting it better on the front than I was on the back, but then I was draining it on the back, so it kind of switched on me. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the putting green after and kind of figure it out. But overall, you know, even if I didn't have my A game, I still shot three under par, and I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. Lots of players have said that the putting has been challenging today. Yeah. And what is it about the greens or in general? What is the struggle out there? They're very tight. So obviously they're also pretty fast as well. Um, they're very subtle. So obviously if you're kind of one of the later groups, you've had a couple groups go through. I mean, foot traffic always plays a part in that too. Um, but yeah, I mean, the greens are very subtle. You know, if you're, you're rolling them well, it's good. If you're aggressive, you don't have to take so much break. But um, I'm not a really aggressive putter. I'm more of a putter that kind of dies my put, putts in. So when you get a bit of foot traffic, it hits a spike mark here and there and gets frustrating. Mm -hmm. Is your feel any different? I know new putter. Um, same putter. Same putter. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so carrying on with the Sebi question. Yeah. Um, how, how much inspiration did you take from, from his big win? Yeah, I saw him actually, um, I saw him win in dining. So that was wow. cool. I, I did actually wake up 30 minutes before my alarm to watch him play. Just, I guess, just naturally <laughs> knowing that he was playing. Uh, it's honestly, he's put in a bunch of work. Um, uh, he has an amazing support system behind him and it's really cool and special to see him do what he's doing and you know hopefully he can continue making this run but from an outside point of view it's truly special seeing him achieve all this and um, I can be happier for him. Does it does it change the perspective of your day when you have such happy news in the morning in the family? <laughs> yeah obviously I'm, I'm, I'm in a better mood but then once I hit um, set foot on the first tee you know I'm kind of in my own bubble and it's game time his play won't make my play any better so it's just going to put you in a better mood and that's about it I mean if you make a birdie on the first hole sure it'll put me in a good <laughs> mood too but once I make that bogey whatever he did and the good mood I was in previously is gone <laughs> what, what's the role of those late birdies you know one in, in putting together a score for today and furthermore just giving you some momentum for the weekend yeah, um, obviously it's super important. As I said, I wasn't really hitting it good, and I was actually rolling a couple long ones in. I rolled a longer one in on 17, wasn't really happy with my iron shot there. Um, and then I was kind of unhappy with my par fives too, the gettable ones, nine, I parred, and then I parred um, 15, I think, mm -hmm. yeah. So obviously that was a little frustrating to me. So it was nice to get the longer one on 17, but um, I started putting a lot better on the back nine. Actually brought my caddy in to help me read a couple of putts or just for like reassurance. Um, and I think that really helped. Obviously I know everyone in your family works hard, but I'm wondering if there are any, any tips, any crossovers that you give each other, whether mentally or nutrition, things like that. Nutrition, no. Um, obviously, Seb's in a lot better shape than Jess and I are. <laughs> um, but I think, you know, coming with the background of athletic parents, I have kind of been in the world of sports. Um, we've always kind of paid attention to nutrition and also the mental aspect of it. Obviously, when they're down, we're going to be the first ones to text them or call them to keep their head up. And we constantly... Um, reassure each other that it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, and anything can change in the split moment, and just to keep going. Thank you. I have one more question about your brother. Um, yep. He said yesterday in his press conference that he was the worst athlete in the <laughs> yeah. family. Uh, what do you think about that? It's complete BS. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. He's honestly the best. His hand-eye coordination is unbelievable. His swing is, I'm jealous of his swing, actually. He can, it's crazy, he's a lefty. He's a natural righty, but he plays golf lefty, played hockey lefty. I mean, he grew up playing hockey. He was pretty good at it, too. Like, 
He skates really nicely. He plays golf nicely. He plays tennis beautifully. I mean, he's full of shit. <laughs> he's my French. <laughs> what what part of, swing, of his swing yeah. would you like to have? Um, it's it's uh, funny. He actually he swings it lefty, which is really really nice and then he doesn't change his hands and he swings it righty and he still peers it yeah (laughs) and he's just he's special he's one of a kind (laughs) he's really talented love it thank you now thank you